Okay, today is March the 16th, 2016. We're watching the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop, and right now at uh, 8.30 we have a temperature of uh, 67 degrees in the foothills of Los Angeles. We've got a relative humidity of 39%. The uh, barometric pressure is uh, 1,014 millibar, or 29.94 inches, and the uh, dew point is 41 degrees. And today it was very clear and, and, and warm. It was actually 82, 83 degrees in, in certain areas. Not a cloud in the sky. <clears throat> I was up north, uh, north of Los Angeles, uh, exact same weather pattern. Very, very, uh, very clear. And that's because we have a we have high pressure right here that's been uh, installed into place. And that is going to block this storm system right here. We have a very large storm system and we have one uh, up over here which has uh, got a storm front right here. So we've got high pressure installed uh, all off the west coast, very clear uh, conditions, no, no uh, aerosols, no chemtrails to be seen uh, in Southern California, all the way up to Santa Barbara, there was no, nothing visible. Okay, let's look at some of these other uh, maps. <clears throat> okay, here's, uh, here's a shot of this uh, large system, and we have a, uh, an area of high pressure between these two systems, and we can see that better in the uh, water vapor map. Uh, we can see what's happening here. There is this is caused by a, a very powerful radar, most likely a phased array radar, which can uh, focus very high energy uh, and, and generate heat, high pressure. And, and what they're doing here is they're preventing this next system uh, from merging into uh, the core of this storm here. So they generate high pressure. And that keeps these uh, that prevents these two storms from uh, getting together and merging into a larger storm. Very common feature. You see that happening right there. And also here in the, uh, the rainbow loop, we can see a very wide uh, uh, margin here, a border area, buffer zone. <clears throat> okay, we can also see that uh, high pressure out here. Let's take another look at the uh, let's look at the uh, western U.S. water vapor loop. We get an idea of how big that uh, storm is. Very, very large. And we actually have some counter, or rather some uh, clockwise movement right here in the core, and that would indicate a transmitter of uh, focusing heat, uh, descending air into the uh, core of this system. And we can see that very dry air uh, right here, this tan and black. Uh, there is heat being uh, focused right down into that core, right into that core. And that the reason for that is uh, when they can. Uh, heat the core that weakens the system that weakens the core pressure and uh, the storm uh, eventually weakens after a day or two of of intense uh, heat being uh, pumped right into the core that is done also with a transmitter let's take a look at this in the uh, in the uh, infrared loop see a large clearing right here And we have that front, which will probably be blocked. We have no rain in the forecast uh, for, as, as far as I can tell, for the next few days. That could change if, if the pressure throughout here is, is, is allowed to deflate. But right now it's, it's fairly strong, high pressure. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, <clears throat> this is the jet stream map. We can see uh, <clears throat> the flow here is coming out of the Aleutians. And then we have a U-turn. Uh, moving right into uh, Washington and Oregon and out to the uh, southeast. Okay, next let's look at the uh, surface analysis map. And we can see that uh, we have high pressure installed all up and down the entire uh, North American <clears throat> continent here. We have uh, Canada, we have 1,031 millibar right here, and we have uh, high pressure all the way down to uh, California and LA is right here at 34 north. We have uh, high pressure all through this entire area. We've got a thousand and uh, it was a thousand and fourteen millibar right now at our uh, elevation in, in uh, Los Angeles. We can see the high pressure right here uh, separating these two uh, systems, the storm and this front. Very common to see high pressure. Uh, following these two systems, and that'll, that'll uh, prevent the, uh, the merging of these two systems. <clears throat> okay, next let's look at the uh, sea level pressure. 
and uh, we're showing the same high pressure zone right here that will uh, prevent this from moving in delivering any rain into California where we are and also up in Oregon and Washington the high pressure is, is basically centered up here all right let's look next at the uh, 500 millibar which is right here we have an area of low pressure indicated and we have uh, right here area of low pressure indicated all right let's look at the uh, 300 millibar little dips here indicating some low pressure all right next last let's look at the uh, SSCC geostationary uh, this is the water vapor a map and we can get an idea of the size of that storm we do have some evidence of clockwise rotation right here right there and that is because of the intense uh, RF energy focusing heat into this core to weaken weaken that storm <clears throat> this is moving north by the way if we go back to the uh, Take a look at the uh, surface analysis map once again. Uh, both of these systems are moving north. And this one here, this is a 972 millibar system with a large cold front, which will be blocked uh, by this uh, high pressure. So that's what's on the menu is more. Uh, it'll, I think it's going to cool down a little bit uh, tomorrow. It was very warm today, around 83 degrees. Um, very warm in Santa Barbara, about 80 degrees, very clear, uh, unseasonably warm on a cloud in the sky anywhere from LA to uh, past Santa Barbara. Also, we see a trough right here shown. <clears throat> the uh, pressure is actually lower today, 29.94 barometer. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and um, post this and we'll do another update tomorrow. All right.